Hey, hey, boys and girls. Welcome to episode number 26 of Sky Factory 3, Chickens in the Sky. It's me, Draku, coming at you here from my chicken mad science lab. I got some pretty cool stuff to show you. I've done a lot of work since the last episode. And some of the work I was doing without even realizing I wasn't recording, so it's kind of my bad. Uh, you notice I cleaned out the area here. I'm going to get ready to build an actual house for us to live in here. So this platform will be changing. I basically just moved all those over to the chicken platform. You can see them sticking up in the air in the center of the screen. And I just changed all the conduits to the in-out conduit, so it puts stuff in and pulls the dirt back out. Um, you can see the cable running through here. Wireless costs way too much for our current setup. So I'm glad I showed you all how to set it up. But for now, I'm just running cable everywhere because cable is dirt cheap now that our chickens are running full-time. Are kind of running full-time. I don't have them automated yet, so I still have to go and manually harvest them, but it's only a matter of time. Uh, let's go show you the chickens because that's going to lead into what comes next. The, the chickens have taken over. They're definitely going to need a bigger habitat. I don't even know where to start. Uh, we have, let's see, gray chickens, green chickens... Anybody new up in there? So you saw the blaze ones. These are ender pearl chickens. Look how awesome these guys look. They're like endermen and a chicken form. I love how those guys look. I don't think there's any chickens wandering around. They're all put up right now. Um, I'm trying to make a chicken here. You didn't make it. Did you make it? Oh, yeah. See, it's slot zero, pink chicken egg. So that gives me another one I'll put in. I'm um, still working on getting sand chickens up to 10, 10, 10. But we do have 10, 10, 10 graphite chickens and string chickens. This one, they just made a purple chicken egg. These guys are gray chickens. I think I showed you those. Look, we have cow chickens. Look at these things. These are my favorite ones. I've, I've loved cows since I was a kid. But look at those chickens. They look just like little cows on a chicken body. I absolutely love that. Um, our storage doors have greatly expanded because we have so many eggs. Uh, I put diamond upgrades in a lot of the stuff, and I locked all the drawers because, remember the cable I showed you from another platform? It's now hooked into our storage drawers. And that means our wireless thing works permanently over here, too, since I have it hardwired in. So I can go to right here. I can pull out the wireless grid, and bam, look at that. Everything in our storage drawers is in here. See all the 10, 10, 10 eggs? They all show up in here, all the 10, 10, 10s which is awesome. Our darts in here now, look at that, we've got 765 darts. And if you notice our, our what is that, our Wayla? Because the one probe's not in here, I thought it was, but it's not. This is Wayla we're using. I went through and played with the Wayla options, which if you have all your keys set to default, hit the zero on your numeric keyboard, if you're using Windows, I don't know what it would be for a Mac, so I don't have a Mac. But hit the zero button, and it brings up the Wayla options. So I went, Let's see. I don't care about metadata. I want configure aspect. No, that's how I moved it. Okay, configure aspect moves it down here. Uh, I went to modules, then to capability, and I turned all this stuff on. And I got a lot more data because it's data I couldn't find earlier. Storage stores. Okay, yeah, all those are turned on. And dry O. I basically I turned on everything. I mean everything. I got tired of not seeing stuff. So all the stuff in here is turned on. So now we can really see what's going on. I like that so much better. Oh, we've got, oh, gas tier chickens. Those finally made. It took forever to get them stupid things. I've got the red chickens over there making stuff. That's why their pen is empty right now. The blue chickens are making stuff. Okay, but here's the exciting part. Do you remember the lava eggs? I don't know if you do or not. So we've got lava eggs in here. Not many of them left because I've been using them. Watch this. Let's go. Let's go and grab some out. Which one to the end? They're in slot four. We're just going to grab 16. I made something just experimenting. I didn't know if this would work or not. Oh, I need to fill that and fix that. I would have done this on camera if I'd have known this was going to work. I didn't know it would work, though. But here's what I did. And I got the idea from Direwolf, but this is not how he did it. If you've watched Direwolf play in Sky Factory 3, you know he's, he's got a stone barrel with a water source on top of it, just like this. 
And this is just four slabs. I put a piece of gravel down, put four slabs around it, and then broke the gravel. And then on the back side of this, now this is where it differs. I put a conduit. This is set to always extract. This is set to always insert. This is an ender hopper. You've seen us use those in previous episodes. And this is a mechanical user. Um, mechanical user is simply this right here. It's one of these things, a lever, and a dropper. That's it. And these things can be made with ender shards. I think I showed you how to do that in a previous episode. If I didn't, give me a comment, and I'll go back and show you in the next episode. But what this thing is set to do is I've got it activating a block with an item with the right click, and it just picks a slot. So what happens here is each one of these eggs is equal to one bucket of lava. You see that it says on the tooltip. It's like a one-off bucket. Kind of like if you use a clay bucket to pick up lava and it disappears after you empty it out. So it clicks on this. It puts a whole bucket of lava in. Water turns into obsidian. Then the drawer pops it out. If this happens to click sooner, the obsidian gets stuck floating in here, and the hopper picks it up and throws it in here. So watch how well this works. This is amazing. I mean, watch how fast this is. It's going to go through all 16 of those eggs in no time flat. You see the countdown in the Wayla tooltip. Bam, we just made 16 more blocks over here. Look at this. We've got... I'm just short of having five stacks of obsidian from all those lava eggs. So what I think I'm going to do is when we start setting up chickens, I'm not going to have all the chickens centrally, centrally located because I also built some lava generators. And I put like a stack of eggs in each one. And you see over here it's stored. I don't know why it's not still making, but that's another story. Maybe they, no, they don't multi-block, do they? Maybe it's because we're not using them right now. I don't know. But we can use eggs to, to make lava generators at 80 R if a tick. That's 320 R if a tick right there, and they're dirt cheap. You know, we looked at those an episode or two ago. It's Electrum, which I made a ton of. Um, make that an alloy smelter. It doesn't show a recipe in here. Oh, maybe it did. Okay. It's just one silver, one gold, makes two of these. So it's a one-to-one. -one. And apparently there's an Electrum chicken. I just haven't gotten there yet. How do you... I must need to update. Oh, I bet. I was reading on Reddit where it said this one was deactivated, so I'm going to have to go and activate that one. But it's pretty easy to do it like this, too. I can set up a pattern for that and get all the electrical I want. So, we can have unlimited power. That's phenomenal. Speaking of power, I did upgrade the capacitor back here. So now it's a 5 million RF capacitor. The reason I did that was I noticed at night, you know, when the um, solar array up there, still tier one, when the solar array cuts off, we were getting dangerously low on power, you know, from our operation here. Which honestly, we don't even need this operation anymore considering the way the chickens are going. But um, we were getting dangerously low on power, so I upped it to a five and it stores it. We're good all night long now. Oh, let's see. Let's go sleep really quick because that'll kill the music and that'll kill everything else. Now, the other thing I've been doing, remember how we made the platform in the last episode? Way, way over there? I went and I built the outlines of the buildings and all that. Well, check this out. So I've done some more stuff. I auto-crafted 21 of these drives, made all these disk drives, which they're empty right now, but you notice these are lit up. The reason they're lit up is I ran cable up under it, so it only takes one cable per side because they're not attached to each other. But since that cable is in there, it lights them all up. And I've been filling them in too. Like, look at all the patterns in here. All these, that's a chest, it just doesn't show up for some reason. But I've got all these upgrades, like void upgrade patterns. This one has diamond upgrade patterns. I didn't do emerald because I don't have a lot of emeralds. Uh, once we get emerald chickens, I'll do an emerald instead of a diamond. But then also all the way up to 64K storage drives. So we can start filling these babies up with 64Ks. Uh, goodness, I made a lot of these. We can now make Ender Energy Conduit. That's the 20K per tick conduit. That auto, auto makes alloy smelters. I think I even put sag mills in here somewhere. Yeah, 
ought to make sand mills and alloy smelters because, cha-ching, now I haven't done the power for this yet, so the front machines don't work, but the back machines are hooked up. And if you notice, I have a cable coming out of here. These are all item importers from refined storage. So I've got every one of these machines is set the same. Hit the little configure button. They are set to push whatever they make out the top. On the back, they import. So you see how the little lights turn blue up there? So that'll come in handy because now we can start doing patterns in these. Let's see. Here we go. So now the system knows how to make energetic alloy, vibrant alloy, and pulsating iron. It also knows how to make sand, I mean glass. So if our glass chickens aren't making enough glass, it'll throw sand in here and it'll make sand for, I mean it'll make glass for us. How cool is that? Uh, we need to throw this pattern into one of these since we're over here. This is the pattern pattern. I had to take it out because I was using it for something else. So we'll throw it in here. And all I'm doing here, it doesn't matter. I could pull them all over there. All over here, it doesn't matter. But I'm just starting at the top and going over so I can keep track of where things are. Uh, the signs over here are to remind me which one of these is which. So when I come to put the patterns in, I don't have to open the machine and look for it. I can just see that this one makes alloys. This one is the furnace. So this one cooks things. This one mixes things. And that just helps me out. Um, so yeah, so we got that going on. Now... I personally don't want to use the resources, even though we're sitting on unlimited resources now. I don't want to use the resources to make conduit and run conduit clear across the base. I mean, we're in sky here. We're in the sky. Let's do some wireless stuff. What do you think about that? So I was on I was on the builders, the Dryku build stuff server, uh, that JC sponsors for us the other night. I don't have any slabs because that's going to bother me. Yeah. We got, I only need one. Still the obsidian in there. Okay. Yeah, I was on the Draco build stuff server and I started playing around with RF tools. And here we go. RF tools, let's take a look at this now because this worked out so well. RF tools has these things called power cells. There's a power and advanced and it's simple. Uh, this one takes prismarine and emeralds. I don't have the chickens for that yet. Everything else I can make. But this I do have. Now the simple one, let's make the RF tools book. Just so you can see what it is. Uh, can I make this? Yes, I can. Do this. Bam. Now we've got the RF tools book. So... Was it under power relay? Network monitor, smart wrench, power storage. I think it's under power relay. No, that is not it. I love the book in here, but the book doesn't have any way to go back that I can find. It's probably really simple. I just don't know it. Power storage. Okay, here we go. The power cell can store power. There's a normal and advanced version. The advanced version can store more power. Every side of a power cell can be figured with a wrench. Or you can set all sides at once using the GUI. And the power cell can also charge items, just like our capacitor skin. So basically it's the RF tools version of the capacitor. Except they can be wirelessly linked together using this card. This is where it gets really, really neat. So what I can do is this. Now, I didn't make the simple one because I don't know that was an option last night until after I'd made these. And how much prismarine do we have? We've got these blocks. Can those be broken? What does that do? Depth strider. I don't care about that. I could have sworn we had other prismarine. Let's make this real quick and see. We'll need two of those. And two of those if this works. So let's see if this does what I want it to do. Store all the power. Has the card. And this will store a quarter million. Dude, that's more than enough. All right, so watch this. So 
And here's how this bad boy works. We want to hook this up to a conduit, making some power. Can we? Well, we could just throw it over here, couldn't we? Oh, by the way, our system over here for getting down to the beneath so we can get that dark quartz, it's coming along pretty well. I ended up making, oh, I forgot that was there. I ended up making another cobblestone generator, tier four, which is the blaze rod generator. So we've got two of these pumping it out full time. And they're just not fast enough. I'm wondering if I should do speed upgrades in this because let's see where we're sitting right now. We have five of these made, and I figured out the other um, last episode we're going to need. That's quadruple. We need nine to make a, a quintuple, and then we need four more for the recipe. See this right here? There's the quintuple, and then four of these. So right now we're sitting at five. Five and nine is 14. Yeah, we need nine more to go. And you see up in the top left, we're on day 222. It's taken a while. I think it's probably been about five to six hours since I filmed the last episode when we set this up. And it's still just a running, running, running. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for now, until we move the power system, I'm going to set this right there. Now we need to set everything to input. Let's see how it's filling up with power. Now, if I were to infuse this, which is something we'll get to later, then it would hold more power and be more efficient with what it does. But for now, it's going to be good enough. So since that's working, we need to make this bad boy. Which means we need more paper. Ooh, we are out of sugar cane. Remind me, if I had, don't do it, to really, really, really work on our sugar cane farm because it's, we need more. I don't, I don't know the range of the end of hopper I put downstairs. I don't know if it was going to grab it for me or not. I need to fix that block. I don't know where it went. Can I do this like this? Yes, I can. All right. So let's click you in. Click you again. Click. Bop, bop. Okay, so here's how this works. You put both of those. You put one there, one there. And then see how they're linked, ID 1? This is machine number 1. So this one's going to send power to whatever that is. Now we go over. Let's grab our conduit. Because I don't have that on me, no. Don't need the bucket. Don't need the book. Okay. Conduit. That's item. Energy conduit. There's one. Dang gum, I thought I had more than that. Can't make any more either. Hmm. Oh, that's right, because we used it all up. Okay, this is an easy fix. So we got this guy over here just pounding away. There's that. We have clay. Should have a ton of clay. Let's do one, two, three. Let's do 16 of these. That'll give us a whole stack of clay. So now we need to do is I need a shovel. Is my shovel in the system? Let's go do this upstairs. Since this is our traditional breaking ground, we'll just break everything up here. As soon as I find my shovel. Well, this ought to work. I also pulled up the ender lilies because we don't need them anymore. We have so many ender pearls coming out of the farm and out of the chicken farm. We just don't need the ender lilies anymore. All right, bam. There we go, a whole stack of those. So now we can go downstairs. We can do this. Uh, recipe. I want that. I want that. Put you, 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 and you back in here. Give me as much of this as I can hold. Let's, what are you? No, that's a sag mill. My bad. Okay, let's just cook as much of you as we can get. I think 18 should do it. And it'll cook all that up for us. Now we want some more conduit. Uh, ooh. Let's make some of that. Oh, 
Oh, I guess it would help if I put it back in there, huh? There we go. 24 should do. Very, very nicely. You know what? Let's go and sleep, and then we'll go over there. And that red X right there under that water just drives me bonkers, but nothing can spawn there. It's not big enough for anything to spawn, but it's... I'm definitely going to have to move that later because that's going to drive me bonkers. Okay, so here's how we do this. We put this guy right here. Everything on this guy is going to be an output. We put this guy in here and it charges up. Bada bing. Then we do this, 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 and this. And now our machine should have power. Just like that, boys and girls. Yep, CJEI. Funneled it in for us. So now we need some capacitors to really make these babies fly. Then they'll be ready to go. Now I'm probably going to upgrade that uh, power cell. Yeah, I can. Once we get Prism Marine, I'm going to upgrade it. Because this one's not handling very much power. I eventually want to get to the advanced one. But I need dimensional shards for that. And those either come from loot bags or other RF tools worlds. Which I assume we can get to. I haven't watched anybody play with that yet. Um, but we'll figure that out once we get there. What kind of bag does that come out of? That comes out of the epic bag. Okay. So dimensional shards. It'll take 32 of those to make this guy. Okay. We can do that. Not today, though. Uh oh. Where did my ring go? Weird. This thing is acting so weird. Okay, so. By the way, if you like what's going on here, hit that like button. If you love what's going on here, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this all over the place with people. Um, I'm still filming this in January, but this is, this episode will be released in February. So I can't tell you yet if we hit our goal of hundred subscribers. I know we were sitting at 90 when I filmed this and there's still about four days left and it's a weekend too. A weekend with no football because it's in between the playoffs and the Super Bowl. So hopefully we'll hit that goal by the end of February or the end of January. I'm sorry, which is what I really, really want. Okay, so next project. We still have to go. I want to build a house here, which won't happen this episode because there's only like five minutes left. But I want to build a house here. So should we make this out of wood? Should I grind up some stone? I mean, look, look at all the chisel blocks we have. Uh, chisel, okay. I mean, I can make it look really unnatural with all these different colors. Uh, basalt I haven't gotten yet. So I can't do that one yet, but we can do all this different cobble. Well, it's andesite. I haven't gotten andesite because I never bothered to see all the dirt, but we can do that too if we wanted to. Um, those are bookshelves. Bricks we can do because we can get clay pretty easily now that I figured out the mechanical user trick. That's carpet. That's, you've seen the cobble because we've been using cobble forever. But mossy cobble could look pretty cool for our house. Just give it a different color. Uh, metals are not an option yet. In stone could be, but it's... I don't really like the color there, to be honest with you. Put our house out of glass, because we've got glass for days. Uh, glowstone, because we've got glowstone chickens. I can just hatch a few more chickens and make a ton of glowstone. Have a house that glows in the dark. What else is in here? Okay, laboratory blocks, which are just smooth stone with nether in the middle. And it makes all those different patterns. So we can incorporate those into a house. I think that gray may look pretty neat against the sky pattern we have. What other kind of blocks can we make? Those are lapis. Lava stone looks really neat for stuff. And lava stone is just a bucket of lava with smooth stone. Let's see, limestone, block of lead. Nether rack. Can I get another rack yet? Uh, or nether brick, I'm sorry. How do you get nether? the rack that comes out of a sag mill of ardite that's not what i'm looking for 
alloy smelter cooks. I'm looking for the recipe for that one. Chisel, blah, blah, blah. Fluid block. Lava into a stone barrel with redstone. Okay, so we can make that one to one, but that would take a while and a whole lot of eggs. So we're not going to worry about netherrack. Obviously, wood we could do. And since we have pretty much unlimited obsidian, we could do obsidian too. Let's see. Quartz, prismarine, platinum, acacia. What else is in here? There's usually some other blocks you can make. Did they not include them? Here we go. Factory blocks. I love factory blocks. Hold down shift so you can see them all. Look at all the different options in here. So we can make like an industrial factory. And that's just iron and smooth stone. Eight blocks gives you 32 back. So it's a really good return on investment. Uh, temple blocks are just cyan. Mossy temple is just another chisel pattern. Tyrion is one of my favorite. So purple is my favorite color. So I love using those purple blocks, but those blue plates would look pretty neat. Uranium. The Valentine's blocks. I don't understand this one, but we could do that. Voidstone is really cool, but it, it's expensive, but we do have unlimited in dry eyes now. Water, wool. Anyway, you get the idea. I want to come up with a really cool design to replace our initial base with. Um, if I'm not mistaken, is that the dark block we spawned on? I think it is. And that's our original water. So I kind of want to do something here, like have a fountain. Maybe put the house over here with all that stuff going out behind the house. That'd look pretty cool. Oh, you got to see one more thing, too. Our wheat is officially out of hand. I had to upgrade this with a second, second diamond upgrade. See how much wheat we've got? 18,000 wheat. And I've been just coming over and grabbing the seeds. Because this is pretty neat to me. Come over here and drop all the seeds into here. And then, look at this. Conduit is so much faster than that transfer pipe from XU2, Extra Utilities 2. So I've started replacing all the transfer pipe with conduit because it's so much better and the conduit can overlap. You know, you can have fluid and other conduits in there. The way I've got this set up, this one is set for a green output only. So nothing can go back into this chest anymore. It's not a dual purpose chest anymore. Everything else is set for a green input. So the green coming out of here is input on every single one of these and then brown output. The brown inputs over here on the storage door, we're holding right now uh, 12 stacks of dirt. So that was a lot handier than having stuff loop around. And this way I could attach more, what are these things called, uh, wooden barrels to it. So our roll is really coming along from where it was. Check this out when I harvest these guys. Watch how many ender pearls we get out of one harvest. One, two, three, four stacks of ender pearls. Ridiculous. Uh, binder. Oh, I forgot about the binder composite. Diamonds for days. We got two full stacks of diamonds. All those eggs are left over. So we'll throw those guys in there. Yeah, guys. I mean, what do you think? I need your opinions. I need some more comments. I love that we're getting new people in the channel and starting to see some new comments and just questions. I mean, feel free to ask any questions you have. If you see me doing something on here, and episode numbers are getting pretty high now, so if you don't want to go back and like watch every episode to figure out how I did it, ask me in the comments. I am more than happy to explain to you or even point out the episode, if I remember which one it was, on how we did things. And now that we're using the notes mod, I'm not erasing the notes anymore. So we started with episode 20 on the notes mod. And you see when I make up the episode here. So three tonight, and then I did one, two, three, four on the night we started using it. But I'm be more than happy to point out the episodes and tell you exactly how I did stuff. I'm actually starting to th think these animals are going to be worthless. Like, we don't even need them. All we need are the chickens. I may try and get a pig anyway just to get a pig. But guys, I think it's going to be it for this episode. Um, oh, you know what? I'll show you one thing I found out. This is your uh, tip of the day. 
because I never knew this. I've been playing Minecraft for two years now, FTB for two years, and never knew this. Now, I did know there's a key, and I'd like to thank the user or the watcher who pointed that out in the, on the comments last time. I actually did know there's a key. I made the key and then lost it a few episodes ago. I found it. Remember the chest over there at the mob farm? The key was in there. The key is from Storage Shorts, and it's a simple recipe. One upgrade template, two gold ingots, and a gold nugget. That's it. What you do is see how these things have little locks on them. Well, if you click it, it unlocks it, and then anything can go in there. Clicking again locks it. Now, remember these eggs over here, how they're empty? See over there in uh, Wayla? Slots one and two show lava eggs, but there's no eggs there. Well, this makes it a space holder. So when I put more eggs in, when that slot fills up, then it goes over to this one, then it goes to this one. Here's what I found out today. All that stuff I already knew. I just didn't know where my key was. If you hit this, it unlocks everything at once. Hit it again, locks everything. I had no idea. I don't know if you, I don't even know if that was a 1710, if that's a new feature for 1102. But that was the coolest thing. I did it by accident. I meant to click on that and I clicked on that. So now the empty ones stay empty when I put stuff in. Like if I feed stuff into my wireless grid, those will stay empty unless I select something to put it there. So that was really cool. And if you stuck around for that tip of the day, congratulations to you, bud. I appreciate that. But that's going to be it. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time.